In this video, we will graph the given log function as well as give the domain range and the equation of the vertical asymptote. We are given y equals log base three of x plus two. From our studies of translations, we should recognize that this graph is going to be the graph of y equals log base three of x shifted up two units because of the plus two here. And also the function fits the form of y equals log base b of x except for the plus two here. And since x has to be greater than zero, the domain of the given function using interval notation is going to be the open interval from zero to infinity. And since the range of the basic log function is all real numbers, or using interval notation is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, shifting the graph up two units will not affect the range. The range is still the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And again, because the graph is shifted up, not left or right, the vertical asymptote is also x equals zero. And now to graph this by hand, we will first isolate the logarithm and then write the equivalent exponential equation. We will use the exponential equation to complete the table of values. Once we have the table of values, we'll use the ordered pairs to graph the function. So we first isolate log base three of x by subtracting two on both sides, which gives us y minus two equals log base three of x. And now we write the equivalent exponential equation using the definition shown here below, where for this log equation, the equivalent exponential equation is three raised the power of y minus two must equal x. So again, the exponential equation is three raised the power of y minus two equals x. Well, we use this equation to complete the table of values, but instead of selecting x and determining y, because we have y minus two in the exponent position, we will select y and determine x. Notice how if we let y equal two, we would have x equals three raised to the power of two minus two or three to the zero, and three to the zero is equal to one. And now let's let y equal three. When y is equal to three, x is equal to three raised to the power of three minus two, which is one. Three to the first is three. And now let's let y equal four. When y is four, x is equal to three raised to the power of four minus two, which is two, and three squared is equal to nine. Let's go ahead and find one more point. Let's let y equal one. If y is equal to one, then x is equal to three raised to the power of one minus two, which is negative one, and three to the negative one is equal to one third. Using these ordered pairs and knowing the vertical asymptote is x equals zero, we should be able to make a nice graph of the function. Let's first sketch the vertical asymptote of x equals zero, which is the y-axis. And now we'll use the table of ordered pairs to plot four points on the graph. The first point is one comma two, which is here. And then we have three comma three, nine comma four, which is here. And we also have one third comma one, which is approximately here. So we know the graph passes through these four points and approaches the vertical asymptote, and therefore the graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.